Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitching and Bordering and Design. Today I'm going to talk to you about compressed files. Those are the zipped files that sometimes you download and often people try to open them thinking that that's their embroidery design if they're a new um, user to embroidery and computers. Uh, so so Up Pro has a great feature where it will actually uncompress one of those files or unzip it as they say and the file that it works with is the one that has the extension .zip. So let's go to file and open. And if you look here in my directory tree, these files here are already open. So Up Pro has a nice little preview when you're looking at your files. And then this is the compressed file. See it says compress zip folder. So we want to select this. And when we left click at one time, with our mouse button, you will see all the files that are contained in this compressed folder. And they're actually very large files that have been uh, compressed to where uh, the file is a lot smaller than if they were they were uh, you know usual size. As you see, they're like 33 percent or 39 percent of their normal fi file size. So let's uh, open our zip files. I right, left click open and we open the first file there and here's the way that you would open or extract the entire folder if you want to open them all at one time. Okay, Click again and this time we're going to put our mouse button right here over the unzip and left click and that brings up this dialog box that says select files to unzip. We can do the control, press the control button and the left mouse button to click just one file. And we could click OK and open it. Or we can left click one file. And the way I like to do it is hold down my shift button while I'm doing this and left click each one of the files. You can also use your arrow down button to do it as well. And I'll select every one of them too. And if you <clears throat> and you don't have to click one at a time, you can go all the way down to the bottom and it'll start where you hit the first click at the top all the way down to the bottom here. Then left click OK. And as you can see, 20 files that were in this folder were now extracted to a new folder. And it's the same name the folder is. So let's left click OK. And we still have this box open. So we want to left click on close zip and cancel. And now if we go to file and open, and we're in the same directory we were in before, and there's our original, oops, let's hit close zip. I didn't mean to do that. There's our original file that we decompressed or unzipped. And when we unzipped it, it uh, is very nice program. It uh, created a new folder of the same name as the original compressed file. So it's ASAH. I got this from a stitch and a half. So what I always do when I have a file, <coughs> if they don't automatically do it, is I'll put ASAH for a stitch and a half. I think they already had it on there, but this is just the way I remember it. And then often too, um, like something like this, I'll <coughs> right click on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll right click on it and then go down here to rename, left click. And since it contains ladybugs, I will um, usually just get rid of this since I don't need that file extension on the file name. And I'll put ladybug. That way if I'm looking for ladybugs and I'm not sure where I put them, I can look here. And there were flowers in there too, so I'll put flowers in the folder name. And then you can uh, move your cursor off of it and that will save it. And then since I've got this compressed folder still, <coughs> excuse me, allergies, I will uh, take the folder and I will drag it into my folder, the compressed folder into this, and then that way I have it all together. Then when I click on this, you can see I've got all the files in this folder now in addition to the original zip folder or you can put your zip folder on an external drive to save it. 
you know, whatever you want to do. This is just how I normally do it. And then I also back it up by uploading it to Dropbox. Anyway, everyone have a great day, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for stopping by.